Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about an Excel template which you can use to create Kanban boards for your own project management. Kanban boards are great visualization tools in project management. It can be extended easily to a lot more scenarios than just your project management. You can use it to scenarios wherever your projects or tasks flow through specific stages or predefined workflow steps. Now, let me give you our own example here at inzara.com. We create and publish templates. And each and every single template that we create and publish follows through certain stages. For example, we always start with researching you know, what product we need to build. And then we do a design and make sure that the layout and the appearance and everything is, is all defined. And then we do an internal review and get it approved. Then we actually develop the template test it and make sure it's actually accurate, and then publish it on our website. Now, every single task goes through these stages. And now using this Kanban board, I can visually see where each of the tasks are, in which stage they are. Is there any specific stage where we have a pileup of a lot of tasks so that I can take actions to address the bottlenecks? For example, if I want to only see tasks related to Excel templates that we publish, so I can just click on Excel templates. Now I can see all the different Excel template related tasks, which stage they are. And I can also identify specific by resource. So who's working on these tasks? I can also filter them based on priority. I can look at it by when these tasks are due by due month or week. And I can also look at only the currently open tasks or closed tasks. So all of this at my fingertips, visually displayed so that I can easily see the tasks and take actions. I really like the Kanban boards because they're very simple to use, but they are very effective in its purpose. So just like everything we do at inzara.com, simple tools, smarter decisions. Now I'm gonna walk you through how you can use this template to create your own Kanban boards quickly and easily. In our template, once you download it from the link that I'm gonna to provide to you in the video description. Now in the setting sheet, this is where you start by assigning a list of projects. Projects are nothing but how you want to categorize your tasks. How you wanna categorize it? Is it by project? Is it by category? You know, you can rename it according to your needs. I have done it as projects. I can also define the list of resources or people that will be working on the tasks. And then I define the stages that every task will go through. In my case, I've entered six. If in your case, you only have three stages, no problem, only enter three values, it works. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about this item settings a little bit later towards the end of the video, because that is how you can customize the Kanban board visual according to your own personal needs. I'll come back to it at the end. Now, if you go to the data sheet, this is where we enter the data of our tasks. We give a name to it of each task. We assign it to a specific project, and you can see that the drop-down menus will automatically happen uh, because we've already defined the list of projects. We have defined the list of resources. So these things will uh, be automatically providing you drop-down menus to make your data entry cleaner. You can assign each task to a priority, high, medium, or low. You can give a due date for each task. Warning is just how many days before the due date do you want warning signal to appear on the Kanban board? So in this case, I've entered three, which means three days before the due date, it'll start giving me a warning on the Kanban board. Um, and then those stages, which stage is this specific task in? You can also enter the number of hours of work needed for the task or the cost involved for the task. Those are optional. If you want to use it, you can, otherwise you can ignore it. And then the status column is where you can say whether a specific task is open or completed. And this is helpful because now when you go to the Kanban board, you can easily filter the completed tasks out if you don't want to look at them. And then you can enter some notes or comments for each task according to your needs. Now that's it, very simple data entry. Now let's go to the Kanban board. And um, as I already showed, you have filters on the left side 
where you can look at one specific project and see all the tasks associated with it. If in case you have a lot of different tasks in one column or one stage, we have the buttons that you can use to scroll. So if I want to look at, you know, as you can see here, I'm scrolling. If, I, if you have, let's say, 15 different tasks in this, you can easily use the button to scroll and see more. And you can see the number of tasks in each of the stages shown here. So seven in research, three in design, three in approval, two in develop, and all that. The count is there. You also see some three colors. So the colors are used to identify priority. And the priorities that you set in the data sheet will automatically appear here in the appropriate colors. You can filter by due month and due week. And as I said before, if I only want to look at completed tasks, I click at completed, otherwise open or clear the filter so that I can see all the tasks. Really, really simple. Now, I want to now show you how you can customize what gets displayed on the Kanban board for each task. So now I have set it up such a way that you can see how the Kanban board changes when I actually make a change in the setting. So in the settings, you will have these six possible values that you can choose, which you get displayed on the Kanban board. So for example, task and then the project and then the resource name. So you can see that HR dashboard is the task and then the Excel template is the project. And then you have the resource assigned to it and then the due date and then the hours and cost. So let's say, for example, I don't want to see the hours and costs. I'm just going to, so now I'm just going to go and clear cost um, because I don't need cost. And then I will also remove hours because I don't need to see the hours. And you can instantly see how the Kanban board is updating, right? And then if I, if I don't want the due date, I can also remove the due date. Now, if I would like to reorder in which in order they appear. So for example, I'm going to put back the due date. But let's say, for example, I want the resource first and then the project. So I can change this to resource and then this one to project. Okay, so that's how easy it is for you to customize your own Kanban boards. The next option is you can fill blank values with a certain value. For example, if the due date is not set, I can say it should be displayed as not set, or it could be um, you know not decided or TBD to be decided. So you can change that in order to represent wherever there is a blank value or where the due date has not been specified, it will fill it with this value, EBD. Same thing for all the other fields as well. You can change the format. If it is a date format, you can apply it as date. Otherwise, just leave it empty because it will apply just text format. And then show header is where I can decide whether I want to show the header or not. So you can see that the due date is displayed everywhere. Um, so if I don't want the due date as a header, I can just say no. So now I do not see due date. So for example, 31st May 2023, I can see that the due date is not displayed. The due date will be displayed right now if you don't have any due date specified because it again reminds you that the due date is to be decided. But if you have entered a due date, then the due date as a header will not appear. But an important thing to remember here is that whether your audience is aware of what that date means. If it's a brand new audience, I would recommend keeping the header in there. But once they get familiar with the specific Kanban board, then you can remove the headers to make it a cleaner display for them. So this is what this Kanban board template does. Again, very easy for you to create your own customized Kanban boards. I want to give you an example also how you can use this beyond just project management or task management. So an example I would give is, uh, if you want to use it for human resources in recruitment, um, the way you can take the same template and make it work for recruitment tracking would be each task that you enter in the data sheet will be an application by a candidate to a job. And then instead of a project, you will assign it to a job that they are applying it to. And then resource will be hiring manager or a recruiter who is working on that job. And priority can be priority. Due date can be the, you know, you can set a due date for your hiring. And the different stages can be the different stages of your recruitment funnel. 
So once you do the candidate application, screening, HR interview, hiring manager interview, technical interview, whatever your stages are in your recruitment funnel, you can customize the stage column to, to represent that. And then once you're, you've completed hiring for that specific job, or once, once you've made a decision on that candidate or an applicant, you can just mark the status as completed or still open, meaning you're still reviewing the candidate. So this is a very simple way you can use the Kanban board template even for recruitment tracking. And on the Kanban board, you will be able to see all the candidates in each of the stages of recruitment funnel. So that's again, just a simple example. You can think of many different ways you can use the Kanban boards to track processes, projects, products as they go through the different stages. If you have any other questions about this template or if you have ideas to make this template better, please put them in the comments below. I'll be back with another video about another template very soon. For such simple and effective tools, please visit nzara.com. Thank you very much for watching.